Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of Jane Speed Shop. Today is the day we're going to drive this car a little bit on the road to get some street mapping done. And uh, I'm together with Dayway Tech Solutions, uh, so I'm going to introduce Daniel a little bit about what he's doing, about his company. And uh, so if you're new to the channel, have a look in the right corner for you, there's my logo, you can click on it. You can see all the other videos I've, I've made about this, this car and on this channel. Also have a look at Jane Speech but the link is over here. So uh, enjoy! So a little update, uh, base tune is in, so normal driving is going pretty good, starting is going pretty good. We got the uh, wastegate checked to like wastegate pressure 0.3 bars, it's running pretty good, up to 4000 RPMs, we got uh, the map in it. So what we're going to do now is trying to raise the boost pressure a little bit and I'm going to introduce uh, Daniel and then we do some driving. So you can uh, see and hear a little bit how it sounds. I take the suspension so it's a little bit higher in the back you can see but that's just to be sure that the suspension is uh, keeping up with it. So this is uh, Daniel from uh, Dayway Tech Solutions so he's an Angelo so uh, I don't know if you want to say something about your company a little bit. Yes hi so I'm Daniel uh, yeah I specialize in uh, engine electronics and uh, and ECU mapping so uh, I'm assisting. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah we we're now going to drive uh, doing some settings above 0.3 bar just like I mentioned but above the wastegate pressure yeah and that will be enough for for me to run on the street to get it uh, fully legal and then uh, you will see him uh, in a later video with uh, with dyno mapping and we will show his uh, his company and his this location and his dyno so uh, i think it will be very interesting yeah. so let's go let's go so we're going to do uh, do the run in third gear because otherwise the top speed will be too high because of the long gearing so uh, later on we do a little bit of uh, a flyby, I can, uh, I can have a look what the sound is from outside of the car. So let's go. So sometimes you hear a little bit of a Dutch in between because that's handier for us. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, too much. Als je aan het eind van de drie bent, vind ik het al wel prima, maar dan ik wel zien wat hij doet. Ja. Het zijn lang genoeg dat hij redelijk rustig door het toerenbereik heen gaat, zeg maar, ja. de drie al. Zo komt hij een vol trottel run. Zo so still on low pressure, like 0.5 bar. So even less, even less. Even is, less, ja. Uh, peak is around 0.4. Full throttle. Okay. So I have to do something about the suspension to uh, harden up the shock absorbers. So I'm not going to pick up too much speed because it's getting a little bit floaty. So uh, I will fix that uh, afterwards. But this is full throttle. So now the exhaust is warm. There is a little bit of a uh, V8 rumble which you hear on the side, the sound here. That's the fuel pump you hear. And the, the rumble of the exhaust is uh, pretty nice. It sounds pretty good.
So, test driving is done. Then uh, Daniel has already left. So, uh, car's back on the bridge. Got some small issues, but not that big. So, I want to say the car is driving very, very good for its first time. So, not many issues. Uh, the only small issue I found now is uh, a little, little bit of sweat on the left front brake caliper. There's just a drip on it, so it's not leaking or anything else. So I can just fix it, it just breaks fine, but I think uh, it needs a uh, new copper ring or something in between because it's still uh, uh, tight enough. Uh, oil cooler on one hose, is has, it sweats a little bit over the day, so need to tighten up that a little bit. And the biggest issue is that my rear suspension uh, leveler is broken, I think, because uh, when we did the drive-by, I already have seen that the rear suspension was on its almost highest point. I thought it was pretty weird. So the thing is that, uh, yeah, in the beginning it was running okay. So I, do, I think I hit a stone, a small stone or anything else that came underneath the car that hit it. So, and that made the valve go open, so that's backwards. And then it was filling up the shock absorbers in the back and then it's come to completely the top level. And if you then, the steering pump is pumping 180 bars or the, the tandem pump that's on the back, that's for the hydraulic suspension, can pump a maximum pressure of 180 bars, 185. And then it has, it has an overpressure valve in there and it will flow back. But at that moment, the shock absorbers are completely filled up. And the level of valves are like 40 years old. So there is a rubber in it that is when it's center, it will just return the oil uh, pressureless back to the tank and it will keep the pressure in the socket solvers and that's the piece that is not working anymore. So I'm going to lift up the car and take a light and I will show you. So, this is the level valve. Normally when it's in center, this is how I was driving. So I think something hit it and it was going like this. This is already enough. This small angle, if you can see better at the camera, perfect. This is normally level. Normally, you can put a four millimeter drill in here, in the small hole over here. That's the center point. Then it's in center. Then it's not going up and it's not going down. Then so then it's keeping the pressure in the uh, suspension system, and there's no oil, and the rest of the oil is just flowing through here back to the tank. So if something hit it like this, it's going up, and pumps it completely filled, and then there's an overpressure valve in it that will. Pump the rest back. So what I'm going to do is going to take this out or buy a new one, and then straight away going to install the uh, uh, actuator. And then because I don't want to have a problem anymore, so I can use this one still. But then the car is always going up a little bit, down a little bit, up a little bit, down a little bit, and I don't want that. So and for the rest, uh, so that's the only issue I have to fix it. And uh, yeah, it's not that bad. If that's everything, then uh, yeah, I will take it. So fuel pump, everything looks good, no leaks. Just a little bit of dirt, a little bit of sand. No leaks on the hoses, so the complete system was having 185 bars and there's still no leaks, so it's very good. No oil leaks to be found, so suspension wise, everything held up pretty good. No issues, no leaking differentials. Uh, no fuel issues, everything is nice and dry. Uh, the stainless steel colored a little bit, not, it's a little bit of a gold glow on it, not too much. If you go to the front you can see here that the downpipe is colored a little bit more, so there's not a lot of heat in here. So uh, the issue with the brake caliper, you can see there's a little bit of fluid on it, not too much. I think it just need to be need to change the two uh, copper rings. I'm going to do that. So an oil issue on the oil cooler. There's just a little bit of oil over here. It's just uh, yeah, a little bit. I had already had a look. Oh, if you can see it over there. There's a little bit of oil in the coupling. So I have to clean it and tighten it a little bit. And that's it. For the rest, engine nice and clean and tight. No leaks. So that's. Yeah, it's just perfect. It's just, yeah. This is how I want to see it. No leaks, nothing. So, the flexible piece here, cold a little bit, not too much. 
Everything is connected nice and tight. No coolant leaks. So on this side you can see it's, it's nice and dry. There's nothing here. So this is good. All the I got some smoke from the underneath the isolation. That's pretty normal. So I had in the beginning some smoke only from the exhaust manifolds. And but the downpipe was not heated up yet, and also the bypass through the wastegate nut. So you can see a um, little bit everything is trying is getting a little bit gold gold uh, color. So it heated up pretty nice now. So the exhaust temperatures went up pretty good. So I made a temporary shield in here that held up pretty good. The temperatures were not that high uh, in there. So um, yeah, I, I I also did a look after a run. Uh, um, and opened it and tried to have a look how warm it was in here and the temperatures were pretty low so the flow of air through the engine bay is pretty good so I don't have a floor uh, plate in here so maybe I'm going to do it maybe not if we have to have a look because I think the f it will help the flow in some ways to get through the engine bay when through the cooler uh, around the engine and through the tunnel and then away so maybe that's a good a choice to do so I have to have a look into that for the rest I had some coolant issues underneath here that's all still dry nothing here so that it's completely solved so the only thing that I have then is uh, I have to change the rings on the brake caliper on that side and I have to tighten up the oil lines on here on the cooler and then the hydraulic uh, issue so that's what I need to do uh, so I'm going to fix that uh, problem with the lever in the back and then I have to calibrate the leveling system so that the actuators are connected. And if that's done, then I'm going to get in contact with the, the, the checkup for the car to get it road legal in the Netherlands. So then it needs to be checked by a company or a, this is a government company, of course. They have to check the car if it's all legal. They have to check the origin of the engine and that sort of stuff. And it's all safe, and then it will be changed on the Dutch uh, car papers. And then I can do the period check for the car that's every two years for an old timer, and then it's road legal. So, that are the next things. I'm not sure what I'm going to film about that process. I'm going to film the calibration of the suspension that I'm going to film. So, I think that's the next video. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. The link is over here, jnspeedship.com, you can click on it and see all the other videos. And if there are any questions about these subjects, so uh, leave some comments below the video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.